Hey Capricorn, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 for June 14th to the 15th of 2021. All right, before I get into the signs that you're dealing with, I got this song, and it was like, leave me alone. <laughs> Basically, you're saying leave me alone to someone, and it's like you're declining their calls. They keep trying to call you and text you. You're not responding. You just want to be left alone with who, from whoever this is. You just want to be, you don't want to be bothered. I feel like it's an ex. So let's get to the signs you're dealing with, Capricorn. The signs you are dealing with for Capricorn. And now I'm hearing that a Zodiac song by Destiny's Child. <laughs> All right. Who's Capricorn dealing with June 14th to the 15th, 2021? Who's Capricorn dealing with at this time? All right. One more shuffle. Whoa. Okay. Dang. Yeah, it's like Capricorn. I feel like you smacked the cards out of my hand. You're like, I don't care. <laughs> Last shuffle. You're gonna get this read. All right. <laughs> Capricorn's like, I don't care. Leave me alone. <laughs> you know what sign you're dealing with. You don't want to be bothered. That's what that is. All right. We have Taurus. We have Scorpio. Cancer. And overall energy is Pisces. All right, so you could be dealing with either of those four signs. All right, I'm going to pull one Oracle card, and then we're going to get into the tarot. Four Capricorns for June 14th to the 15th of 2021 for Capricorn. June 14th to the 15th of 2021 for Capricorn. And last shuffle. June 14th to the 15th of 2021 <laughs> We have fortune, toad, of course, Capricorn. You're a hard working mamma jamma. Overall energy is owl wisdom from experience, period. Hard work, pick. you have wisdom from experience. You're wiser for it, wiser for this situation. You're wise to this person games as well. You're hip, you're hip. And then with toad fortune, it's gonna go in your favor. But let's get into the tarot and see what's happening for June. 14th to the 15th for Capricorn. June 14th to the 15th for Capricorn. And last shuffle. June 14th to the 15th of 2021 for Capricorn. All right, we have the Wheel of Fortune. That's a 10 there. Yeah, the karmic wheel cycle. And then with fortune and the wheel of fortune, you got money coming in. You got the bag coming in. It's going in your favor. Yes. And then we have the, what is this? Six of swords, letting go, going into a new cycle of abundance. It allows you to uh, breathe a breath of fresh air because that money is coming in a lot more than you think. I'm talking big amount. No, no little pennies, a big amount coming towards you. I feel like you're feeling very fortunate because of this and allows you to relax. Maybe even go on a vacation, eights of swords, the truth. See, that's the truth. That's the truth right there. And you can rest easy because you know the truth as well about a situation. You know you're getting this money. You know you're getting this fortune. Also, if you've been worried about it, as soon as you let go, it comes to you. That's what I've learned, like, in any situation. I'll worry and worry and worry, and as soon as I release it and let it go, it comes to me. As soon as I forget about it. We have the King of Swords. I feel like that could be you, but that could be a sign you're dealing with. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I got the Knight of Cups here. Yeah, you could have a, um, an air sign coming towards you, offering you love. Or this is just someone who's very direct and straightforward about how they feel. With the Knight of Cups here, yeah, this person is coming to offer you a cup. And they're not playing no games. They're just straightforward, direct, like, I want to be with you. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh. Then we have the Three of Wands. Again, someone's coming in to offer you some love, and they want you. Also, the Three of Wands is your ships coming in. Overall, all energy, surprise, surprise, seven of pentacles, investing. Oh, I cut a deck and I saw the five of swords. We're going to ignore that, though. We got the seven of pentacles, reevaluating investments. Some of you could literally be investors here. 
know that those investments are definitely about to pay off. You may be pulling out your money very soon because that's, that's going to spike. And I'm feeling it's going to be higher than it's ever spiked before. I don't really know how investing goes because I've never invested anything. But it's about to hit an all-time peak for you. And as soon as it hits the highest it's ever been before you've ever seen in your life, as soon as you see that, pull that money out before it tanks. That's all I got to say. All right. I've Again, I've never invested before, so I have no idea. But that's what I'm getting. That's what I'm seeing. But yeah, know that a love offer is coming in. The truth is coming in. Someone's going to tell you how they feel about you. I'm clarifying. But also, you got a great fortune coming in. Clarify this for Capricorn, please, Spirit. Clarify this for my Capricorns, please, Spirit. Clarify this message for my Capricorns. All right. So clarifying the Wheel of Fortune is the Queen of Pentacles, duh. And then it doesn't matter if you're male, female, non-binary, the feminine is receiving and the masculine is doing. You're attracting that energy to you, that fortune to you, that new cycle and that abundance towards you because you've done the work. Physically and spiritually, you've done the work. Nine of Pentacles. And what have I been saying this whole time? And Virgo got that too. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. But you are a hot commodity. You've got that bag. You've got that bag. You are a money magnet. And all on your own, whether you're in a relationship or not, you are like the Nine of Pentacles is Beyonce card. Popping. Clarifying the Six of Swords is the magician. Like I said, as soon as you let go, you, your manifestations come in. So it's like when you do a, a ritual or a spell or anything, as soon as you release it and let it go, forget about it, that's when it comes. It's like the second, the moment you forget about it, that's when it comes. All right. Clarifying the Six of Swords is the Four of Swords. Now, I'm, I'm not seeing this as like a blockage. You could be blocking out someone who's like, um, excuse me, whew, uh, manipulative. But I'm also seeing this is healing. I'm seeing this as healing and peace with the four of swords rest. So you may need rest. You may need to go on a vacation or to a spa. I'm seeing when I'm looking at this, I'm seeing spa type energy. You can have a spa at home, take a bath, light some candles, sage, whatever. I'm seeing this as rest and relaxation. Also, you're blocking out someone who was manipulative. You're letting them go here. Also, uh, someone may have tried to block your manifestation abilities, yada, yada, yada. It's not going to work. Yep, two of swords, cutting the cord. Two of swords, cutting the cord. All right. <laughs> Clarifying the ace of swords is the ace of freaking swords. Clarifying the ace of swords is the ace of swords. So spirits said what they said. You're getting nothing but truth and clarity right here. Okay. You're speaking your truth. You're getting the truth. And this King of Swords is speaking the truth to you. Now, again, it could be a Taurus, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or an air, a strong air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Then we have the King of Cups. Water energy, that Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We do have all the water signs that came out for your reading, Capricorn. So it could be a, um, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio speaking their truth to you. Clarifying the King of Swords is the Nine of Swords. Anxiety, worry, sleepless nights here. So um, there's someone here who's all up in their head about you using losing sleep over you. The King of Swords, yeah, Knight of Swords. They're trying to force this situation. Whoever this King of Swords is, is trying to force this situation. Uh, so you have multiple options, Capricorn. You got a smooth talker, someone who's straightforward. This person is straightforward too, but it's like they're on a time crunch. This could be the same person. I feel like this King of Cups could be you, honestly. But you're the Queen of Pentacles right now, Capricorn. You're the Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, you got two options coming towards you. With the Knight of Swords, it, this person right here, this King of Swords, they're running, they're going through... This is an ex. 
Because they're, they're going crazy because they feel like they could lose you. Now, if this is just one person, they go from being calm, cool, and collected to being shysty because they feel like time is running out. So there's one person here who feels like time is running out and they're lo they're going crazy over you. Whoever this person is, whoever this King of Swords is, is going losing their mind over you. Then we got a King of Cups who's calm, cool, and collected. So, yeah, we got two options here, and one of them's losing their mind. One of them's, I'd go with the King of Cups if I was you. Clarifying the Knight of Cups. Ooh, yeah, the devil. You. So, you're getting a love offer here with the devil. I love this devil card. Like, just look at this. A bad bitch. Just a bad bitch here. <laughs> that is you, Capricorn. A bad bitch energy. Fiery. Shicey. All right. Um, I know the devil is usually seen as, you know, in this reading, the devil, I don't see it as toxic, but you know, depending on what cards is around it, it can be. Oh, we got, oh my, wait, how did I pull the devil twice? I just pulled the devil again. I think I mixed my freaking cards up. Ye wait, yeah, I mixed my freaking cards up. This is supposed to go to this deck. So the fact that I pulled the devil twice. That says something. I pulled the devil from both freaking deck and I shuffled. So the fact that I shuffled it in and the devil ended up beside the devil. I haven't pulled the devil card. I don't think I did for any other, any other reading today. Yeah. So we got the devil clarifying. Two devils clarifying the Knight of Cups. So there's someone who's obsessed. There's someone who's obsessed with you. I'm going to pull another one from this deck to be fair. We got the Judgment card. All right, with Three of Wands, we got the Six of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Overall energy is the Two of Wands. All right. Whew. So, what's coming in is a Judgment call. And you want equal give and take. And you want a higher commitment with the Hierophant. Again, it could be a Taurus. And Taurus did come out with um, the Signs. So for some of you, it could be a Taurus coming in, wanting equal give and take, wanting a higher commitment. But the judgment is in your favor, Capricorn. You're here twice. You are in your energy, in your power. Queen of Pentacles, the devil, again, here twice. Fortune is in your favor. And then the Nine of Pentacles, you got the back. You are the one to get with, okay? People want to be with you. And again, you got at least two people coming towards you. One of them is extremely obsessed with you. And one of them is just really passionate and emotional. And for some of you, if this is the same person, if this is just one person, underneath that cool facade is someone who's extremely obsessed. All right? That is what you're dealing with on June 14th to the 15th of 2021. You got options with the two of wands. If you're seeking and searching and looking for more, you're going to get it. And if you're in a relationship, you're going to get a renewal of passion in your relationship. Trust and believe that. All right. That is your reading for June 14th to the 15th Capricorn. I send you peace, blessings, and love. If it really resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. No mistake.